You know how when you're with a person that you think might be a narcissist and you have any conflict or just randomly, like out of the blue, what, one minute they're treating you nice and you think, oh, we're friends again. They're, they're nice to me again. They love me. They care about me. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, they are cutting you down, criticizing you, acting disgusted by you or acting like you're just so much lesser than them or unworthy of them. And you get this like overall feeling of devaluation, like your value as a human being is now this big when it used to be like you were normal, just okay around them, or they built you way up and they had you in this idealized version of yourself. Okay. Why do narcissists devalue? My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from narcissistic or toxic people. So and just really like generally at its core, a narcissistic person will devalue you in order to protect the parts of themselves that they don't feel so good about. Every person is going to have some kind of belief about themselves that isn't so great once in a while, all right? But narcissistic people very often have this part of themselves that they know is not perfect or they believe is damaged or faulty or flawed. Things like, I'm just really not a good person. Probably because they've been told that a lot of times in their life because of the way they treat people, right? Or they're always at fault or they're wrong. Okay, so these types of things, when you have someone who doesn't really have empathy for anyone else, they see as a criticism toward themselves and something, especially with a covert narcissist, something to play the victim over, okay? And so in order to protect that, they need to devalue those around them repeatedly, randomly, intermittently within relationships in order to maintain the superior stance of actually, I'm not that bad, actually, they're the ones who's wrong. Look at them, right? So if they're looking at you saying, you know what? You're a problem. You have all these problems. You are too sensitive. You are crazy. I don't know what's the matter with you. Oh God, did you do that again? When inside, if they feel, oh, I'm wrong. I did something wrong. I'm a bad person. And then they cover it up with, oh my gosh, look how horrible you are. They can either dismiss all of those bad thoughts about themselves instead of working on them like an adult and displace all of that onto you. There's other reasons a narcissist will devalue, okay? It's really about maintaining control. It's about maintaining the narrative, the power within the relationship. If they can keep you down, then when they build you up and then knock you down again and then build you up again and then knock you down again and then build you up again, you're kind of following their lead for your feelings of self-worth about yourself because after enough of that, we get conditioned to trying to fix things for that other person, to feeling low about ourselves, which then makes us more susceptible to them getting their way, right? Like it makes it easier for them to step in and take whatever they want. And what happens a lot of times is they will devalue you, okay? They will knock you down. They, they will emotionally just destroy you, okay? And then suddenly see you as this broken thing and then want to discard you or disconnect from you within the relationship further and further, right? So that they're more withholding, they're less giving, they're basically when they are in the love bombing or idealization phase again, it's very minor. So in other words, they're kind of nice to you and then they devalue you further. Start seeing you as the narrative they have created. When they create this devalued narrative, they start to believe that devalued narrative is who you are. They stop seeing the truth of you as a human being. And in a narcissistic brain, that means my thing is not as good as I thought it was. And therefore I should discard it or go get another one and have another piece of supply over there that's better. Or, you know, because it's, the truth is, it's all about their narrative and their delusions. Another thing that happens when we're talking more about the vulnerable narcissist here, or the covert narcissist here, is when they're devaluing you, it gives the illusion that they don't really need you. 
So it takes this very, you know, sort of weak individual, which is what the covert narcissist really is emotionally, right? And it gives the illusion of power. It gives the illusion of, I don't need you. <laughs> you know, it, it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they don't need anyone. And then they can hide from the truth of their own emotions. They really are looking outward to fix their emotional pain and their emotional parts of themselves that they should be working on as adults. They're looking outward to have that fixed by displacing the bad ways they feel about themselves onto you in order for you to fix it in you. Then they don't have to take any accountability even for their own thoughts and beliefs about themselves. Because a narcissist is very transactional in the way that they are with people, their ego, their mask, right? That they wear and that they live looking through believes that other people belong to them. That when you're in their sphere, you're in their orbit, okay? And therefore, if, you're go if you step out of line by having a thought of your own, or worse than that, calling them on a behavior or something that they've done that's hurtful towards you, they will devalue you in order to dismiss the thing you're talking about. So much of this is projection. Can you hear that? So much of this is what they do is they start projecting and then they have to gaslight using a very dismissive and devaluing nature in order to basically put you in your place, which is beneath them according to them, okay? None of this is healthy. None of this is healthy adult interaction. None of this is good for relationships. This isn't something you can tell someone, hey, you're devaluing me and they're going to stop. Okay. With a narcissistic person, this is how it works. It's part of the relationship style of narcissism. Love bomb, devalue. That doesn't necessarily mean you're getting all the goodness from a love bombing. It could be as simple as less horrible to you and then really horrible to you. It could just be being pleasant and then completely devaluing you. So that is the way it works. Have you experienced this in your life with a toxic person? Let me know in the comments and check out the next video coming up for more on narcissistic traits.